Hi folks, this is College Algebra, Checkpoint Quiz 7.2. Number one, we're asked to put an equation in standard form and graph it, find the center and radius. So, uh, the fact that we're asked to find the center and the radius is a pretty good indication that what we've got in our hands here is in fact a circle. But what if we didn't know that? How would we know we'd be looking for a circle? Well, we've got both variables squared, and more than that, the coefficients are identical. So unless this turns out to be a degenerate conic, it will be, in fact, a circle. So what is the standard equation of the circle? What are we shooting for here? It's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals some number r squared. And so if we start with uh, the equation as is, first thing we're going to do is we need to complete the squares on the x's and y's. Moreover, the coefficients on the x and y's need to be 1. And since the coefficients here are the same, namely 3, we'll go ahead and divide both sides by 3. Now when we divide both sides by 3, what we can do is break this up and divide each term by 3. 3x three squared divided by 3 is x squared. 6x divided by 3 is 2x. 3y squared divided by 3 is y squared. 9y divided by 3 is 3y. And 0 divided by 3 is still 0. Now we move to completing the square. So we're going to leave some space. What perfect square quantity starts off x squared plus 2x? Well, we take this coefficient of x and take half of that, and that's 1. So I have x plus 1. So what am I going to add to this quantity to get a perfect square? x squared plus 2x plus 1 squared. Plus, since uh, the coefficient of y squared is 1, I take half of this number, which is 3 halves. If I square this out, it would be y squared plus 3y plus 3 halves squared. So I look to see what I added to both sides. I added a 1 squared, and I added a 3 halves squared. And so to keep the balance, i got to add that to the other side as well. I simplify. I get 1 plus 9 fourths, uh, or 4 fourths plus 9 fourths. So I get 13 fourths. All right, so this is in standard form. From this, I'm going to read off the center and radius. So what's the center? Well, the center of this circle is h comma k. So if I have x minus h, the x-coordinate of the center is h itself, y minus k. So I'm taking opposites here. So I take opposites here. I see a plus 1 in the quantity, so I know it's going to be a minus 1. I see a plus 3 halves here. I know it's going to be a minus 3 halves. And what about the radius? Well, if I look at the standard form, the number over here is the radius squared. So this is the radius squared, which means the radius is the square root of that number. Using properties of radicals, I can write this as the square root of 13 over the square root of 4, which is the square root of 13 over 2. And if I want to try to approximate this for graphing purposes, the square root of 13 is a little less than the square root of 16, so this number is a little less than 4. If I take a number a little bit less than 4 divided by 2, um, it's a little bit less than 2. Alright, so let's graph it. The center is at negative 1, comma, negative 3 halves. So negative 1, negative 1, negative 2. So my center is going to be right here. And I'm going to move a little bit less than 2 in each direction. So one, so roughly there. And move roughly 2 units down. 
two units to the right, two units to the left. And I'm going to try to draw a circle in there, which looks pretty bad. So I'm going to cover myself and claim that that's going to be a circle. So that'll do it then for number one. Okay, in number two, we're asked to find the equation of the circle centered at negative 3, 4, which passes through the origin. So once again, we go back to our standard equation of the circle. And in order to determine a circle, I need to get three pieces of information, the h, the k, and the r squared. So we're given right away that the center is negative 3, 4. And the center of the generic circle is h comma k. All right, so that tells us that negative 3 is h and 4 is k. And so we get the equation of the circle at this point to be x minus negative 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals r squared. And I can simplify this a little bit to x plus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals r squared. I still need to determine what the r squared is. So how can I do that? Well, what piece of information haven't I used yet? The fact that the circle passes through the origin. That's the point zero, zero. So if the circle passes through the origin, then that means zero, zero is on the circle. Which means when x equals zero and y equals zero, this equation is true. So what I'm going to do is substitute in x equals 0 and y equals 0. So if I do that I get 0 plus 3 squared plus 0 minus 4 squared equals r squared. And I know this equation has to be true because the circle passes through the origin. Well, you square 3, you get 9. You square negative 4, you get 16. We're going to get r squared is 25. So, for my final answer, I've got x plus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 4 quantity squared equals r squared, which is 25. So that'll do it for Checkpoint Quiz 7.2.